Hey guys, I want to leave you this video for those of you that recognize yourself or feel yourself that you're way showers, your leaders, your pioneers of this path, or maybe just any sort of leader in anything that you do. Maybe that message for you within the, you know, this conscious perspective. <laughs> I was hesitant to come on online actually and on this video because of things that I'm dealing with myself and I'm feeling pretty raw but I realized that the truth is is that and you could resonate with this is that as leaders as pioneers maybe the old paradigm is the one that needs to perform and I understand that of course there's specific moments you know where we have to perform a task you know or like imagine you have a surgery right now and you're a surgeon you gotta do the surgery but I mean that there is a specific responsibility for us as conscious leaders to always show up like maybe that could be the perfect perfectionism but also that kind of sneaks into the spiritual aspect which is to always have the best energy to always emit the highest frequency to always be in our top vibration whatever that means and realizing that the truth right now is that we are in a paradigm of being ourselves in a way that where we're taking responsibility so of course you don't want to be yourself in a way where you're just lashing out um, or projecting out your stuff you know onto other people or not being in your truth in that moment in the truth of awareness but to be okay with having to show up still when you're feeling raw or when you're feeling vulnerable or when you're not feeling that you're in your perfect performance or best performance because we're not here to be in performance whatsoever we're not here to be in performance we're here to be ourselves and what i realized for myself throughout this journey is that i never felt drawn towards the guru archetype never i always felt deep down there was something in me that was eh, like i would get like a buzz buzzing feeling you know like Zoom, nah this is this is not for you i i don't know i on, on the contrary what i felt led towards was um leaders that were in empowerment and especially get attracted to leaders that i saw empower other people so like leaders that empowered or created other leaders I found that to be really really attractive and that's where I would most of the time I would get drawn to or listen to really self-empowerment uh, people that allow you to stand to step up into who you are in your light rather than want themselves to be on a pedestal that they have it all figured out that they're the know-it-all and you're just here as a follower below them that you don't have the answers and you're seeking them now the thing is it's a bit of a it's a bit of a you know a, a, a layer because in reality you know like a you know a teacher or a student or a, a leader and you know someone that's coming to the leader to learn as part of the team or whatever it is is that they see something that the leader has to offer the teacher has to offer so of course in that lens maybe they have achieved or they have activated specific codes in them that's how I see it. So they have specific skills or gifts that the other is coming and drawn to because they want to learn from it. Of course. So, but that's it. It's in that specific skill. It's not the reality that as a totality, you are above the other person. So I feel that that paradigm is collapsing. I feel that right on a collective scale. Although I feel like the attachments and the codependency is still playing out in the dynamic like there's still a little bit of that not wanting to change that and not letting go of that so there's still a little bit of that playing out out there you know but i feel that this this really comes back to you being okay and i know that actually your ego your identity does not like this because it takes a lot of humility and it's a little bit of that protection mechanism of you know showing up in a way that is vulnerable and raw you know rather than in protection mechanism 
and sharing from that space or being in that space because of course there is also a lot of uh, possibility of you know being attacked or being ridiculed or being criticized or maybe sometimes people taking advantage of that but knowing that at the end of the day if they do is because they're not there to be part of your paradigm they're not resonating on the same wavelength um, they don't have the same values so allowing yourself to kind of base your reality on those people that are operating from envy or fear or judgment or whatever it is and shifting and coloring your entire frame of reality according to that I don't feel is the ideal thing to do because you are not honoring who you are and you are from there choosing to show up in a way where you're operating from um, what if right operating from someone else's creation or someone else's reality and belief system rather than your own and claiming that so i guess this message really comes down to is that if you're feeling like there's literally a pull between you how you desire yourself this commitment and discipline that you have to show up for yourself for whatever you are leading you know whatever really because even I believe that a parent also is a leader you know I, I really believe like leadership goes into so many different <laughs> roles it's not like just that but it's really that archetype or even leading your life you can be a leader of your own life so noticing that maybe you have this desire to always show up in that way and then if anything else comes out of that box of that image of what you want it for yourself then there's a little bit of disappointment or there's a little bit of you being harsh on yourself and you feel that's where the division within you happens so what if just allowing yourself to be with yourself be with what is arising knowing that in the discipline and the commitment of you showing up but you're showing up in a way that is real and raw you're not showing up with a facade or an image and I think that is very important because everywhere around us all we see is actually facades and images that's all we see around us even within the spiritual frame that is even more disturbing at least for me and that is why you may feel like you're alone you may feel like you might not vibe with other people because either first what we were saying that guru archetype right that guru dynamic that guru follower dynamic and you know deep down that you're here to be a leader and to walk with other leaders and recognizing that what you are a leader in is what the other person may not be but what the other person may be a leader in is not what you're in and that's where the gifts come together and like a bigger beautiful thing emerges either it could be that or it could be what i was sh sharing is that you're feeling that icky feeling in your in your space where in your field where you're not resonating with the other people because of that facade because you know that they're trying to maintain something that is really not sustainable so moving forward sustainable leadership sustainable way shower that is also in alignment with your work with how every aspect of yourself is resonating or reflecting the core of who you are and i spoke about this in my one of my latest videos when i spoke about coming out and the things the obstacles that could be stopping you and i'm going to tag it so that you can watch it. it was a really powerful one but one of the things that i spoke about is that actually is the fact that we believe that we need to separate ourselves that our business sometimes our work that perhaps you're a leader of consciousness in your own reality but when it comes to your job there is not a ripple out of that it's not a connection so you've separated yourself there and that's okay if there's a reason you know like again what i say is not like this should be the way you know of course but tuning in with your intention of why you do what you do and eventually if you know deep down that there's something else you're supposed to do in terms of your purpose or your career aligning your career with your purpose allowing that to ripple out for yourself so that it's in unification 
then everything in your life starts rippling out your essence, starts rippling out your own energy, your own blueprint of what you are here to share. And if we want to do that, we cannot be in performance, right? Because it's all pure energy. And when we say energy doesn't lie, is that your energy is not here to be in a high vibrational energy. And I spoke also about this in one of the videos, because for me, high, vibing high, it means that you are holding yourself in a state of awareness. You are not running away. You are not pretending. You are not separating what you are and putting another something else because you don't want to be with what is you're not holding that light of awareness at the end of the day that's it for me it's like pure energy being in pure energy does not mean that you are resonating at uh, 432 hertz whatever it is is that you are emitting what is you you purely that is you and you're not trying you're not allowing the ego to take the steer to take the show but you're literally just emanating your heart that is raw that is vulnerable that is whatever it is that it's feeling so i hope that message was of any support to you if it is let me know also in the comments i would appreciate it and of course share it with other leaders that might benefit from it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more much love